Hey guys, what's up? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys five easy tips to improve your game in Fortnite Battle Royale. These tips are very easy to apply to your game and should help you instantly. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to always use wood to build during battles. Um, I can't tell you how many easy kills I've gotten off people that think that building with steel is going to help them survive longer. Um, obviously steel, once completely built, uh, will last longer and be much more difficult to shoot down. Uh, but during a fight, if I'm shooting at you, if you throw down a wooden wall, it's going to build almost instantly. And uh, it's going to take multiple shots to take down. Whereas if you throw down a steel wall or maybe even a brick wall, it's going to be very, very easy for me to shoot it out. I see people that try to build these steel bases really, really quickly. But all I have to do is put three or four shots into the bottom of the base and it's gone. So um, it's very, very difficult to try to win a battle when someone is shooting at you and you're constantly building with steel. Not only are you dealing with someone that's going to be shooting out your base very, very quickly and, and possibly land shots on you, but you're going to be wasting your steel later on the game. Uh, you might need that to build a pretty decent base and, and you're wasting it. Just someone's putting one or two bullets into it and taking it out, no problem. So... Uh, always use wood when you're in a fight. Um, again, if you're not in a fight, do use the steel. But if someone is shooting at you, don't panic build with steel. It's not going to work, and, uh, and you're just going to waste all your steel. The second tip that I have for you guys is to don't completely destroy trees, especially as the circle gets smaller. Um, this tip kind of applies to mainly the big trees. Um, the smaller trees are not really that big of a deal. Um, obviously, you know, people aren't really going to see a, a miniature tree across the entire map go down. Um, what I wanted to focus on with this tip is, is when the circle gets smaller and you're moving in, or maybe you're in an area where there's a lot of gunfights and there's, there's still potentially people alive, um, destroying those giant oak trees, those things can be seen from a distance. And although people may not be paying attention, maybe they're just running in a certain direction, most people catch the fact that a giant, like, blackish, blob in the sky just disappears I, I can't tell you how many times I've been like oh my god tree just went down over there do you see that and they're like yeah and we just run that direction and get easy kills so um, don't destroy those big trees especially as the circle goes goes down and gets smaller um, at the beginning of the game it's it's really not that big of a deal it's not as big of a deal as people make it out to be um, but after the first or second circle when when you're at a spot where you can almost see the other side of the map the other side of the uh, the safe zone um, it's very dumb to, to destroy an entire tree that size because then everyone can see and, and if everyone saw it then everyone's gonna be coming towards you so um, always leave 50 on the trees if you can if you accidentally destroy one it's it's not you're not I mean it's not like life-changing but try your hardest to not destroy those giant trees all the way so that you can last longer in the game the third tip that I have for you guys is to safe peek and pre-aim through the cracks of your base. So uh, you can't do this with steel, obviously. You can't see through. You can do it a little bit with brick. Obviously, there's a few little spaces in between. But when you're building with wood, and most people build a small kind of temporary base with wood, you're able to see through those cracks. And although enemies may be able to use those cracks against you, you can use them to your advantage. I actually saw a video on Twitter yesterday of, uh, of a guy that just nailed an entire squad um, not with a sniper, I think it was with the hunting rifle, and, and he was pre-aiming, and he was like a distance away from these guys, and he was just basically pre-aiming, he was using the crack through the top of his wooden base to, to locate where they were, and then he would pop up and shoot and pop right back down within like a split second, it was unbelievable, and he hit all four guys. It was so cool, but but when I saw that, I was like, dang, Like people really don't do this as much. You don't see this that often. Obviously, that clip was very, very good, and not everyone's able to be that good with the hunting rifle, um, but if you use those cracks to your advantage and, and you kind of just line up your shot and wait for someone to get in position and you just poke up, take a shot, and poke back down, you, you're not even going to give them a shot to, to, to take a shot, and, and you might potentially put them down if you hit them in the face. So um, use those cracks to your advantage. Not only can you pre aim but you can peek through them. You can figure out if somebody's pushing you. You can figure out if someone's moving location. So always use those cracks in your base to your advantage. The fourth tip that I have for you guys is to not build bases above three walls high. This is very, very obvious. But for some reason, so many people continue to, to do it. And it's it's made my life easier. Like, I'm not going to complain about it. Like, it's, it's nice when I go into a game and, and someone starts building a tower to the sky. Um, I can just shoot out the bottom. Um, the only time I would recommend maybe going over three um, is if the bottom of your base is all steel. Um, I, I was literally, I'm not even exaggerating. I was playing last night, and two guys built a base right next to each other. 
and both bottoms were or one bottom was steel the other one was wood but the guy with steel went up like six blocks high and i was like well screw it i'm just gonna i was like but my friend i told him i was like you distract him you shoot at him with the sniper try to keep him down and i'm gonna use my silence gold pistol to shoot out the bottom and although it took a little bit of time um i ended up winning in the long run because the dude fell and and took almost all damage making it very easy to kill him so um don't build above three blocks i'm telling you people are gonna shoot you down so many more people are figuring out that hey it's it's safer to try to just knock them out and, and do damage that way instead of just trying to get into a sniper battle so um shoot out the bottom of their base make them fall um but but for you guys don't build above three walls high or people will start shooting you down the fifth and final tip that I have for you guys is to build walls beside and behind the top of your base to avoid being shot in the back or the side. I don't always build on the sides because I don't like having just one open area. So let's say I build, uh, I go to the top of my base and I build a wall to the right, to the left, and behind me so all I can see is forward. I don't always like doing that because I don't like just having one line of sight there. I like being able to see around. Um, but definitely building a wall behind you is something that's very, very smart to do. Um, I would recommend doing it with, with brick. Um, steel, eh, steel's not so bad. Wood is not really the best. It's still kind of clear to see you. But when you build a brick wall behind you and a, like kind of above you there, it's very, very difficult, not only for people behind you to shoot you, obviously, because there's a wall there, but if somebody's aiming at you with, with a sniper from dead ahead, the top of your head actually blends in with that brick wall behind you, um, which is nice because if you're in a sniper battle with somebody and you don't have anything behind you, you're just sitting in the top of a base, it's going to be very, very easy for them to see you because they're going to use the silhouette of your head in the skyline to, uh, to make it very easy to spot you. So if you have that brick wall behind you, you're going to blend in and uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for someone to get a quick shot off on you. Um, if you poke your head up really quick. So um, always build a wall behind you to avoid being shot in the back and to help you when you're in a sniper battle. Again, you can build walls on the sides. I don't generally do that. I, I like having multiple lines of sight. I don't like just kind of blocking off every direction. But always build a wall behind you. It's really, really smart. And if you if you ever need to turn around, you can just build a window. So uh, anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy these five easy tips to improve your game in Fortnite Battle Royale. If you guys have anything else to add, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?